In this video, I'm gonna be giving you the only boats guide for blocks which that you'll ever need. After update 20, there were a bunch of new boats added to the game and there was some remodeling done. So I'm gonna be giving you guys a complete guide to all of them. First up, we got the dinghy boat. And this boat is the literal worst boat in the whole of blocks fruits. I mean, just look at this. It has a total of 100 health and you can spawn it in for free. That's the reason it's so bad. It's the second smallest boat in the game and the slowest boat and can only fit two players on it. And if you're actually wondering where the other seat is, it's actually behind the flag. Some people might miss this one. The appearance of the boat is pretty basic, it's just half a cylinder, it's brown, it has a tiny room in the back, and a small square on top. And despite being free, this is actually overshadowed by the sloop boat, because it's one of the cheapest boats in the game, and is the fastest free to play boat in the whole game, excluding the sleigh obviously, but a lot of people don't have that. And if you're wondering, this is how the old model looks like, I'm sure a lot of you guys should remember this, but for you newer players, you completely missed out on this. And that's pretty much it for the dinghy. Moving on to the next boat, the next one I got here is called the sloop. And like I mentioned before, this is the fastest boat that any free-to-play player in this game can access. It costs a total of 300 belly, and this boat is actually different depending on whether you're a marine or a pirate. And you can also buy the boat for 150 if you're a marine, which is pretty good. If you're a pirate and you're in a crew, then your crew logo is actually going to be on the flag of the boat. But if you're not in a crew, then you're just going to have this default white banner. This boat has a total of 3 seats, and it's the second cheapest boat that can be bought from the boat dealer. And this is actually one of the most common boats in the whole of the first seat, because you're not going to be buying massive boats. You're Priority is speed. And that's what this specializes in for free to play players. And if you're wondering what the old model of the boat looks like, this is what it looked like. It hasn't changed a lot compared to the other boat, but change is still a change. Anyways, moving on to the next boat we got here, it's called the Brigade. And you can also obviously buy this from the boat dealer. This boat is actually massive. It has six sails and four cannons. It has a total of 2,000 health. That costs a total of 1,000 belly. And if you're on the boat, you can actually control the cannon's trajectory by sitting and clicking in the place that you want to shoot. And just take a look at what this boat looks like. It's also one of the boats in the game that have slightly changed after update 20, but it still has the original ideas. And there's actually a requirement to spawn in this boat. It's pretty basic. If you're a pirate and you want to unlock this boat, you have to kill and defeat three marines. If you're a marine and you want to unlock this boat, then you just have to kill and defeat three different pirates. Anyways, that's it for the brigade. Let's move on to the next one. The next one we got here is called the Grand Brigade Ship. And just like the previous boat, this also has the same requirements. You need to kill either three marines or three pirates, depending on what team you're on. And this is one of the best boats to use for raids because look at how massive it is. It has a total of 2,000 500 HP and cost 4,000 belly to spawn in if you're a pirate. But if you're a marine, then you can spawn this boat in for 2,000. And this is actually the boat that spawns in during raids. But if you're in a raid, I don't recommend using this because dashing and teleporting and using all your abilities is usually a lot faster. Anyways, let's get into the specifics of this boat. It has a total of six cannons, three on each side, and it's really huge. And it's also a very good option for ship raids because it has 2,500 HP. You can also use it for sea beast, but sea beast hunting does not require a powerful boat like ship raids do. And just like the other boat, here, this also slightly changed after update 20. You can barely notice the changes. Anyways, moving on to the first boat that you actually buy from the luxury boat dealer instead of the normal boat dealer. And this boat is called the Miracle. And this is what it looks like. It's extremely small and it can only fit one player. I mean, you can kind of cheese this, but they don't actually have proper seats. This boat has a total of 1,200 HP and you can only get this if you buy the Fast Boats Game Pass, which is the Game Pass that lets you access the Luxury Boat Dealer. And I 100% recommend this Game Pass if you want to get from island to island in a flash. And this boat is actually good for some sea events because it's an incredibly small size, which makes the cannonballs from the ship raid incredibly difficult to hit it. Because look at how small it is, how are you going to hit that? And this boat actually used to be called the Speedboat before it was revamped in Update 20. I'm not sure which version I like better. I think this one does look a lot cooler and it literally flies. Who doesn't like that? Anyways, moving on, the next boat I got here is called the Sentinel. Just like the previous boat, this one can actually also fly. It has a total of 1,000 HP and it costs 1,000 belly to buy, but you can only buy it from the luxury boat dealer and everyone knows you need the game pass to get that. And an amazing fact about the Sentinel is that it is factually the fastest boat in the whole game, which means if you prioritize speed, then this is definitely the boat that you're looking for. But remember, you do have to have the game pass. And the thing about this boat is it's actually faster than the light flight ability it's faster than water walking fruits like the ice fruit and the magma v2 the only thing that's actually faster than this in the whole game is the portal fruit kind of cheating i know but it still counts and it also does have a butt ton of seats so unless you have like a billion friends you should be fine with seating all of them on your boat this one's also good for sea beast hunting because it has a total of a thousand hp i mean it's not the best but it will do and this boat actually used to be the enforcer before but it was revamped in update 20 and if you guys are wondering about the og boats don't worry i'm gonna be telling you about every thing in this video. Anyways, moving on to the next boat, this one is called the Guardian. And you already know it's gonna be good because, I mean, literally look at its name. This is another boat that you can only get
get from the luxury boat dealer and it costs a total of 5,000 belly to buy. But you can only get this after defeating the Dawn Swan boss. And this boat is actually a replacement for the Swan Ship. And the only difference between the Swan Ship and this one after update 20 is that its size and name change. Literally nothing else. The appearance is pretty cool. It's, it's a dark blue coated wooden boat and it has a total of 7 cannons. And it has a huge fin on its side. Kind of like a swordfish. And compared to the rest of the fast boats, this boat is noticeably slower. It's not the slowest in the game. But if you switch from the faster boats to this one, you're going to notice a huge change. But it does have 2,500 health to make up for that. That makes it one of the most indestructible boats in the whole game. Anyways, moving on to the next next boat I got here it's called the lantern and this is yet another boat that you can only get from the luxury boat dealer but the way you get this is actually different you need to go all the way into the second seat then head over to the factory and then you buy it from the cyborg NPC who's actually Frankie from one piece for a total of 1500 fragments to get it and once you do that you can purchase this ship for a total of 5000 belly from the luxury boat dealer whenever you want it has a total of 2500 health four flags four cannons and a small easter egg hidden on the highest flag and it can actually fire at much better angles than different ships because it actually has cannons in the front and some cool trivia about this boat is that it's the only boat in the game that costs fragments to unlock and it's obviously the replacement for the flower ship which was removed in update 20. moving on to the next boat this one here is called the beast hunter this is a legendary boat and it was added to the game in update 20. it has a total of 2500 hp and you get it from the beast hunter npc and to buy this boat, you actually need a butt ton of stuff. You need 20 Leviathan scales, 6 electric wings, 2 mutant teeth, 30 fool's gold, and 6 shark teeth. And the reason you need this boat is to obtain the Leviathan's heart. And after you craft this boat, you'll be able to buy it at a cost of 5,000 belly from the luxury boat dealer at any time. And this is actually the only boat in the whole game that requires a literal crafting recipe to unlock it. Basically like a weapon. I mean, just look at it. It is a weapon. Anyways, moving on to the next boat I got here is the Slay. And if you haven't heard about this, I don't blame you. It's literally one of the most OG boats in the whole game. And the only NPC you can get it from is Santa Claus, who appears during the Christmas event. It can be spawned in for a total of 5,000 belly from the luxury boat dealer once you bought it with the candies. And the reason it's so rare is because you can only get candies during the Christmas event. This is actually the third fastest boat in the game. The first obviously being the Sentinel and the second being the Miracle. But this boat is actually small enough to avoid most cannonballs. But it does only have a thousand health, which is kind of the same as the other two fast boats. In my opinion, the only reason to have this boat is just to kind of flex it on others. I mean, who has this boat? And it also does look extremely cool. Just look at it. Anyways, now we're heading into the boats that have actually been completely removed from the game. So if you've used these boats, then count yourself an OG. First up, we got the speedboat, and this was the original boat that you get from the luxury boat dealer. Completely for free, it has a total of 1,200 HP, and kind of basic, but it was made a long time ago, so I don't blame the devs for this. Next boat we got here is the Enforcer, and this is a boat I abused the crap out of. It cost a total of 1,000 belly, and has a 1,000 HP, and the only reason I used it was because it was fast. The next boat we got here is the basic boat. It costs a total of 1,000 belly, but it does have 2,000 health. And this was actually replaced by the Brigade. I mean, the Brigade just looks a lot better. Look at this old model. It's actually terrible. The next one we got here is the Swan Ship. This has obviously also been removed. But, but I mean, just look at how cool this boat used to look. I think this was actually better than the newer version. It cost a total of 5,000 belly and it had a total of 2,500 HP. And this was the boat you actually unlocked after defeating Don Swan. And this actually represents it a lot better because everyone knows that Don Swan is actually Doflamingo from One Piece. And this boat kind of has his eyes. I mean, you just have to look close enough. Anyways, the next boat I got here is the flower ship and this is actually the boat that you could buy from the cyborg NPC for 1,500 fragments and just like I mentioned before you can spawn this boat in from the guy for 5,000 belly and it has a total of 2,500 HP and that's it for the boats